Techno Buffalo's E3 coverage is presented to you by State Farm, helping you get to a better state. What's up everyone? E3 2013 is finally over and we saw so many games, so I thought it'd be fun to pick my top five. These are in no ranking order, they're just in alphabetical order because I couldn't even do that. Uh, picking five out of all the games that we saw and played was extremely difficult, so at the end I've got some honorable mentions as well. If your top five doesn't match up with mine, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear what games you miss. Obviously there are a ton and this is completely personal preference. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start with Destiny. Going to be available for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and PS3. Of all the products on display at E3 this year, one of the most ambitious is probably Bungie's Destiny. The first game from the studio since its departure from the Halo franchise boasts a consistently connected world where friends and strangers play together in order to build themselves into legends. So the demo the world saw played live during Sony's press conference on Monday night was roughly the same as the one the press convention goers caught behind closed doors. It's gorgeous, in motion, promises a massive environment filled with loot, epic battles, vehicles, and open world events, so awesome there. The game floored us during Sony's press conference, and we hope it floors us again upon its release. And also, it's nice that Sony folks get some action from Bungie as well, having really had their grips on Halo, and of course, that goes to Microsoft. Number two, you might not expect, this is actually one of our surprise games, and our own Brandon Russell loved it as well, as did Joey Davidson. It's Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. It's gonna be coming to the Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. What a freaking surprise this one was. Like Joey said in his Eyes On preview earlier this week, he was convinced that all the marketing drum up from leaks from EA for this title were nothing but jokes and jabs at their own franchises. Come on, Garden Warfare? Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare turned out as a totally legit thing, and beyond that, it's freaking awesome. Pits players is plants against waves of zombies. You'll select your species and use its unique abilities to engage in tactical squad-based combat. And as we were told again and again during our preview of the game, this one is about nothing but just pure fun. It's silly, it's ridiculous, and it's exactly what PopCap was going for. It's just an awesome game. You can see the plants hop around, you go visit the zombies and the zombosses in their man. If you like third-person shooters and you like Plants vs. Zombies, which I like both, uh, this game is going to be one you're definitely going to want to pick up. Probably actually one of the ones I'm personally most excited about. So next, let's go to the Wii U, Super Mario 3D World. So in our top five, this one might be the most surprising to you folks. Perhaps right next to Garden Warfare, maybe. But though for our money, there's not much finer than a product in a 3D Mario game in Super Mario 3D World is a Wii U sequel to one of the plumbers most outstanding outings in years. That was my, my Mario. Mario games might not be your cup of tea, but for Wii U owners dying to play some quality games, seeing an entry like this is huge. A proper 3D Mario title in HD is something a lot of Nintendo fans have been dying to see, and Super Mario 3D World answers that call. Based entirely on the franchise's pedigree, we're sure this one will pack plenty of surprises and probably super odd mechanics. Next, this one is Titanfall, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC. So speaking on a personal level, Titanfall wasn't exactly on my radar as a must-play title before E3. This effort from Respawn Entertainment, the studio that formed out of those who left Infinity Ward a few years back, looked like Call of Duty with mechs at first blush, but it's already one I was ready to dismiss pretty quickly. Titanfall is a multiplayer title that pits one team of pilots and mechs against another. The game type we know is about a traditional three-point capture and hold. The premise so far is super basic. Then we had a chance to watch a full live match played out in front of us, and the game is freaking stunning. It's fast, intense, aggressive, and it boasts a generally unique set of mechanics and thanks to interactions between pilots, mechs, and their opponents. So while strictly multiplayer titles like this kinda don't usually work in many ways, especially in our gaming wheelhouse, what we saw of Titanfall almost demands our freaking attention. Because of that, I'm super excited about it. Next title, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, coming to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. So this one's directly from Joey Davidson's own words. As someone who attends four or five of these trade shows a year, I'm used to seeing demos for games that are a year or more away from release. These demos are normally a little more than five or ten minutes of gameplay, rife with cuts and jumps. To be expected that dev teams wouldn't be ready to show off a ton of action for a game that's certainly far from ready. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, though, however, rocked a full hour-long, entirely uncut gameplay section. CD Projekt Red developers behind the title are kind of insane for taking this shot, but it worked. The behind-closed-doors presentation is one of the most popular in the entire 
entire show and for really good reason. Wild Hunt will be open world. Its environment is 35 times larger than the one in The Witcher 2. It boasts choice and consequence, insanely creative monsters and next gen graphics. The response to it for media during the show was fantastic and it's pretty well deserved. So get pumped for this one folks, it's gonna be good. So we ran through top five, but there are a ton of honorable mention titles here as well. Uh, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, Mario Kart 8, Saints Row 4, Battlefield 4, Legends of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, and maybe one of my personal favorites, DuckTales Remastered! DuckTales, woo! there's a stranger out to find you, what you do, just grab onto some. So I want to take a minute break from all the crazy gaming stuff to thank our friends at State Farm for sponsoring our E3 coverage. Insurance is one of those things you don't think much about when you don't need it, but the second something in your life doesn't go according to plan, insurance will be all you think about. There are obviously a ton of choices for all your insurance needs, but when something does happen, the most valuable thing you can have is just someone to talk to. Someone who can reassure you that everything will be okay and walk you through the process of getting you whole again. It can be a tough time, but State Farm makes it easier. They give you an agent who's there to help you any time of day, seven days a week. If you need them, 3 a.m. on a Sunday, they are always there helping to get you to a better state. Get help, tips, and guidance to live a better, affordable, and more productive life. So what do you guys think? Do you agree? Disagree with my top five? I want to hear what your top five are. Leave your comments down below. Please give the video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. And check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news.